I think, you know, it, it, it's really easy to just sort of start simply. You know, if if you're eating industrial food, like stop doing that, right? If you look yeah, at the ingredients one. and you see refined flour, soybean oil, or high fructose corn syrup, just don't eat it. Mm-hmm. If you can, the next step would be look for non-GMO certified foods, right? Not because GMO we know is that bad for you. It may be, it may not be. There's a lot of controversy about that. But it's a form of agriculture that's destructive to the environment. And there's often other things in there like glyphosate, which is yeah. Roundup, which they yeah. spray on 70 different crops from canola to corn to wheat to soy. And that is definitely harmful for our microbiome. Uh, it destroys our gut bacteria, which affects everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's linked to cancer. Uh, and and the, there was a two billion dollar lawsuit that got set, a yeah, settlement that the judgment up. about Roundup or glyphosate or weed killer, uh, and so so just be aware that if you just stop those things, you're, the quality of your you're already to, making a yeah, huge I mean, difference yeah, whether, your body, yeah. yeah whatever you do, and so those are really simple things we can do. And then if you can try to you know look at what you're eating, is it is it whole food? I mean, is mm. it something you can recognize, like an yeah. almond or almond butter? It's like not that many steps of processing, because most food gets processed in some way. We cook it. or Yeah, it's all got some kind of man, man yeah, intervention. I mean, yeah. yeah, but if you, you know, most of the time I just eat stuff that looks like what it is. You know, broccoli is a broccoli. 